Ho, ho, ho! Christmas is coming, and the time before Christmas is the time of the Advent calendar. So an Advent calendar should bring you joy, shorten the wait until Christmas, and increase anticipation. Back in the days when I was a child, most Advent calendars out there just had chocolate inside of them, and it was great. But nowadays you can buy Advent calendars with about anything in them. So you can find beer advent calendars, sausage advent calendars, toy advent calendars, advent calendars for model building, and so on and so forth. And while I was online, I found this interesting Arduino advent calendar. And I think this is a cool idea. So while waiting for Christmas, you can learn how to program an Arduino. This is cool. But then I looked what's inside this advent calendar, and I was a little bit disappointed. So don't get me wrong, I think this is a great calendar for beginners, because you get this great manual here, which will explain to you how to write your programs and to use it. But for a little more advanced programmer like I am, it's a little bit disappointed, disappointing because you don't get too much of hardware with this calendar. So if we see what we have here, it's mostly just LEDs, a push button, a variable resistor, and I don't know what this thing here is, but I guess this is something to, which will generate a very variable voltage. So here on this Arduino board we have an A4R 8-bit microcontroller. And we are only using the GPIOs and the analog digital converter of this microcontroller. But this controller has much more interfaces like I2C, UART, SPI, timers, and, and so on and so forth. And I think it would be cool if you would have something where we really um, yeah, learn how to use these interfaces. So my plan is to do an, my own AFR 8-bit programming advent calendar. And with this advent calendar, you will learn in 24 days how to program the most important interfaces of this AFR microcontrollers. And if you want to follow along with me, you will need the following equipment. I will go from the top down to the bottom and explain to you what these items are. So first you need to make a microcontroller. Here I have mentioned four possible microcontrollers. The only difference of these microcontrollers are the flash sizes here. And I would recommend you to buy them in a standard dip package because then you can just connect them to a breadboard and you are done. But in case you already own an Arduino board or a clone of an Arduino board like this one here, you can also use it with some very small limitations. Then we will need an ATiny 44 microcontroller because I want to show you how to program various A4 microcontrollers and the ATiny family is also an A4 microcontroller. Then we will need three LEDs, one a green one, a yellow one and a red one. Three resistors for the LEDs, I would recommend you to use 480 ohms here. A push button for breadboards like this one here. Then four 10 kilo ohm resistors, a seven segment display, the 74HC595 shift register, this is serial in parallel out. Then we will need a parallel in serial out shift register and here I would use the 74HC165. Then we will need a 20 MHz crystal, a LM75A temperature sensor board, and I also have one of them here lying around, so let me show you the board. So this is the board. Then we will need a breadboard like this one. We need some wires for the breadboard. We need a variable resistor. I would recommend you to use 10 kilo ohms, but you can use any different value too. And a dip switch with at least four positions. And to interact with our A4 microcontrollers, you can use a Raspberry Pi if you already have one, because the Raspberry Pi has everything you need, so you can access the interfaces and program it over the Raspberry Pi. But in case you don't have a Raspberry Pi, and you don't want to buy one because the prices for Raspberry Pis are incredibly high right now. You can buy these three items 
too to follow along with my videos. So first we need a programmer to program the um, microcontroller and there you can use the USB ASP programmer. So this is um, this programmer here. So here you can program the microcontroller over USB. Then we will need a UART to USB converter to interact with UART. And here I would recommend you to, you to buy one where you can set the voltage level of the UART pins. So here with the slip switch you can decide if the voltage level of the UART pins is 5 volt or 3.3 volt. And you can also use this UART converter for a power supply because it offers 5 volt and 3.3 volt pins here. And then you will need a display cable to cut because we will do some I2C testing and for I2C or every um, display interface like um, VGA, HDMI has an I2C, has I2C pins and if we cut the cable we can use this, these pins. Okay, so this is all you need. If you only need these things up here, the cost is about 20 euros on a normal um, electronic vendor. So I looked the prices up on Reichelt and came to about 20 um, euros. But if you buy them on some eBay sellers or maybe on AliExpress or stuff like that, maybe you can get it even cheaper. Okay, so now you know what to, you need for my advent calendar. And if you have this, you can follow along. So my first advent calendar video will start on December the 1st. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. If you want to support my work, you can buy my coffee and buy my coffee.com slash Johannes for Linux. So that's it for today. And I'm I am exciting about starting this advent calendar with you. So bye.